Hey guys, welcome back in Tech Learning, and in this video, we are going to learn how we need to set up SDK and DK JDK for new Unreal Engine 5.1. So recently, new 5.1 has been released. So now we are going to set up the SDK for our 5.1. The first thing you need to install the 5.1, and once you install, you need to make sure you need to go to Epic, uh, your Epic game or whatever you call Epic software, whatever it is. Then go to your engine then go to press on option and scroll down and make sure that you have this the android component on target platform make sure you have android component with for play my game you can check my google store account and you can follow me on my facebook page also you can visit our website for get more information and if you have personal project or if you have some work you can gmail me at my gmail address also like share and subscribe and support me if you want my paid course you can check in udemy link in the description Doubt that you can't export your game for Android. Okay, once you're done, the second step is you need to download the Visual Studio installer. Okay, and make sure that you have 2019 version. And if you're using 2022 already, but you still need 2019 because some of cases Unreal Engine need the 2019 compiler. Okay, then once you install 2019, then you need to go to modifier, and now you need to download some component. Make sure first in individual components you need to download MSVC B14 MS Build 2090 AMR Build Tool. Make sure that you, uh, you know install or download these two components. Second is AMR Play. Okay, and make sure they are all 2019 version. Once you download, then you need to press the C++ uh, desktop development with C++. And here, uh, you find. Uh, if you couldn't find your Unreal Engine, so what you need to do, just didn't place, just you find one more that game development with C++, you can choose that and go to individual components and you, because I already have lots of components and it's showing me to install again, as you can see it's saying to product that, but you need to, in your case, you need to install the uh, Unreal Installer and Android IDE support, just tick on these two things and then click on modify because I already have then that's why I'm not, I don't need to do and once you have that then this your second step are uh, is done now the third is step is you need to download the android studio 4.0 make sure in now market there's a lots of version available but you need to download the 4.0 and once you download that and install you need to go to config and go to sdk manager and the sdk manager you need to download the android 10 dot r that is api level 30 then the android uh, api level 5.0 that is the lollipop version or if you go to an api that is 21 and for kitkat version that is api level 19 once you're done then you need to go to sdk tools and make sure you enable this that show package details and at here you need to download 30.03 and to the, uh, 29.03 that is the build tool version and then 28.0.3 build tool version and just scroll down and you find the ndk section at the ndk section into download 25.1.873575999 whatever it is just install that because this is the last version you must need that is the if you go to the version that is 25 version and also the 21.4.7075529 and 21.6352462 okay and once you download these two three things you need to go to sdk command line and just you need to leave this sdk command line tool 8.0 and the sdk command line 7.0 okay uh, what you need to install that from 7 to 1.0 you need to download all of them that is build tool uh, command line and in the same maker section you need to download 3.10.249884044 version and once you uh, press all of them click on apply and download okay now you need to keep note your c drive user slash user app data local slash android sdk location okay make sure uh in, if you install the by default location it will be always go this location that c drive user slash user app data local android and sdk okay then once you do all of, all of them you need to download the jdk or java development tool uh some of cases uh, lots of you say me that bro i, I didn't find my java environment or it's saying that it's not uh available in my environment so for check you need to run the cmd and you can write that java that version uh i guess there's a need to give a minus uh because maybe uh i guess maybe i need to give a minus version yeah and as you can see it's saying that yeah java version 1.8.0.302 install in my 
you know environment so in your case if it's showing that not uh, find recognizing or it's if it's saying that something like error so what you need to do you need to go to your environment variable or you can search it here that just search environment editable system variable and go to environment variable and at here you by default found the java home in e if in your case there is no available java home like this you need to just simply paste a new file and just give your name that java home make sure that everything is capital letter and then uh, you can just don't need to paste anything at here but if you want you can put your c drive program slash java jdk 1.30 bin folder okay bin folder location you can or you can check from here and then press on ok and you find the system variable at the system variable we also find the java dot home and at here in your case if it's still not coming so you can press on new and edit in your case if it's coming just simply click on edit and paste on your java location and once you do that you can give a restart if you want uh, otherwise you can also run cmd and try that or it's uh, install or not and once you have your fourth uh you know sector or four number step is done now the five numbers uh setup is you need to go to unreal engine and simply create a mobile project once you're done you need to go to sd as uh, edit then project settings and once you go to project setting you need to go to android sdk section and you need to just pick up your file so what you need to do just set sdk uh, the from location use slash user app data sdk and in ndk section make sure there's a lots of ndk version you have now so you need to put your uh if you go like let me show you c drive user slash user then app data if you in your case app data num isn't didn't come so you can enable the show hide files or hidden files so you will see this folder so then app data then local and then you go to android then sdk and at here you find the ndk and at here you need to choose your last rest that is if in your case that is uh the 89 so you can choose that if your case that is 70 so you can choose that and in your case this is 5.25 so you can choose that. in my case the last version is 25.1.1 so just choose that and then for the java home you can select your c drive program says java.jar 1.8.0 and make sure uh which step i'm showing some of you maybe it didn't find or maybe some of your case it didn't work like uh, if i go at c drive then my program files and java and there you also find two folder one is jdk and one is jar some of uh, some of cases maybe for you the uh, the JDK will be work so you just uh, pick the JDK file and if it's not working then choose the jar file okay it's totally depends on you and your computer and your computer variable and computer system okay okay so just choose any of them okay uh, like depends on your situation so just pick randomly one and just try and if it's not working try again with some other one okay and once you have all of this thing you need to go to android and then at here press that config and you can check that package game data insert with key okay i'm just skipping this part because this is not important but we all know how we need to set up our package folders and agency and now maybe in your case you see something like this a error that is saying that uh, the sdk rb25 install blah 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 stuff so you can skip this part and simply click on package project and it will be show you like this error so simply ignore that and press continue and just select any folder where you want to export simply click on select folder and it will be start exporting your game now some of cases if it, it will be not it not should be show any of error message but if it's still showing you can change your windows type like uh, the, in the windows section you find it by default they give you directx 12 so if you want you can change the rsi mode to default or even directx 11 so as you can see the tasking is uh, task has been start running it's now downloading all the permission okay maybe in your case if you do first time it can be take 10 to 20 minutes because there's a lot of share in compile so in here if you do first time at that case okay or otherwise it will be just take a five minutes to export a full game so as you can see it's now downloading in native files and lips files and as you can see my successfully my package has been successfully built without any issue and even i can run that in my android device okay if i show you so here's our mobile apk 
and also if you want to visible your this uh, icon that android icon this is not important but if you want so you can go to edit then go to project settings and at here you need to go to windows sector and change that direct x12 to default and it will be ask you to uh, restart your engine so simply press on restart and it can be compiled shader so just you know oh in my case it will be not compiling wow i'm so lucky oh it's compiling <laughs> it's compiling okay so now if you go to platform as you can see your android icon has been enabled okay it is a basically a glitch of unreal engine that by default they set up the director scroll so you know director scrolls are lots of lots of tons of issue so because it's have issues it's also have glitch and bugs so that's why it's showing so you can even export from this sector too so i hope you understand that how you need to uh, set up the sdk ndk jdk setup for your new unreal engine 5.1 thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye see you in the next tutorial video for play my game you can check my google store account and you can follow me on my facebook page also you can visit our website for get more information and if you have personal project or if you have some work you can gmail me at my gmail address also like share and subscribe and support me if you want my paid course you can check in udemy link in the description